Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by Phone Rescue. Have you ever accidentally deleted or lost any important text messages from your Android or iOS device? Well, Phone Rescue with just a few simple clicks will help you recover any of those lost messages on both Android or iOS. It also supports third-party applications, so iMessages from iOS, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and many, many more. Again, supports both Android and iOS. If you wanna go ahead and scan your device and recover some of those lost messages from your devices, check them out, links in the description for Phone Rescue. In today's video, we're talking about iOS 12 beta 7 what we can expect Apple to fix with this next version of iOS I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the bugs still present in beta 6 I'm also going to be talking about some of the new features anticipated with iOS 12 beta 7 and also talk about what we can expect the next software to be released let's begin so first up I want to share with you guys some of the latest issues with beta 6 that I didn't have in previous versions starting with the message delivery system notifications for third-party messages applications and I'm not sure if you guys have come across this issue but when a third-party application I set to deliver quietly it doesn't deliver the message quietly it would just continue to ring again that's only for third-party messages applications like messenger whatsapp etc let me know in the comments down below if you've encountered this issue jumping over to a minor UI issue that you can see here Bluetooth icon overlapping the Siri user interface this only possible when you use the hey Siri command you see that the Bluetooth icon overlaps the Siri UI when you invoke a Siri now there's two main issues with dictation in iOS 12 beta 6 and I submitted both bugs to Apple number one is that the dictation button will stick so if you press it quit it try to press it again it won't work the second issue is that it will write everything twice so if you're replying to a text message the text message will be repeated twice with dictation so both bugs have been submitted to Apple and hopefully we'll see a fix with beta 7. Now I want to go ahead and shift my attention over to some of the new features and changes that we can expect with beta 7 starting with the Siri shortcuts application. This application is set to be bundled with iOS 12. It still hasn't made its debut to the developer program but it's been available through request so certain developers do have access to it. This app aims to make Siri a lot smarter with custom commands to perform custom actions. So for example right here I can create a custom action to create voice memos. This is going to make Siri smarter. Hopefully it does. Now, I think this application is going to be making its debut with iOS 12 beta 7 and everyone will be able to have their hands on it here shortly so I think this is one of those that's coming with beta 7. Now with iOS 12 beta 7 we can anticipate as always Apple to fix minor bugs there's a lot of bugs within the HomeKit application we can expect all that to be fixed. Now dark mode unfortunately if it doesn't make any debut with beta 7 then I don't think it's coming at all it's a bit unfortunate because Apple did bring it to Mac OS Mojave and that was some sort of indication that it will bring it to iOS 12 but if we don't see it with iOS 12 beta 7 then it looks like Apple may not even make it at all a feature for iOS 12. Now let's talk about a release date. As always, we always talk about release cycles here on the channel. Apple is back to a one week release cycle here with iOS 12. So tomorrow, Monday the 13th, we can anticipate iOS 12 beta 7 to be dropping or the 14th on Tuesday at the latest. And that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.